All right, so today we're looking at rational numbers. So number one and two, we want to know are the ratios equivalent or not. Now, what is one way that you can decide if the ratios are equivalent? You can, in order to compare fractions, you can, you can have common denominators, right? So, how do I change 6 to 36? Times 6, right? And how do I get from 2 to 9? Times, oh, I can't get from 2 to 9, right? So, this one, on this one you can't, huh? So if I multiply times 6 in the numerator, am I going to get 9? No. So, what does that tell you about these ratios? These are not equivalent ratios. Is that clear? If you can multiply by the same thing in the numerator and the denominator, then you're going to have equivalent ratios. Is that clear? There's another way that you can um, decide if the ratios are equivalent. We can cross multiply, right? So you can cross multiply, and if you cross multiply, if your cross products are equivalent, then the ratios are equivalent. If you cross multiply and your, ratio, your uh, cross products are not equivalent, then the ratios are not equivalent. So let's see what we get here. So when we cross multiply, 5 times 30 is. 150, and 10 times 15 is 150. Are those equal? So that means these ratios are equivalent. So number three says the area of a rectangle, pa rectangular patio is 5 and 5 eighths square yards, and its length is 1 and a half yards. What is the patio's width in yards? So how should I start this? Before you change anything, I would, I would decide what's important here, okay? First of all, what shape is the patio? No, it's a rectangle. And that rectangular patio has an area of 5 eighths square yards. Is that cool with that? And it has a what? A length of one and a half yards. So now, you guys, we have an area, we know it's rectangular, and we're looking for the width. What formula are we going to start with? Very good. We're going to start with area is equal to length times width. So you write down your important information, start with your formula, and now we can substitute what we know. So what do we know? Five and five eighths, right? So five and five eighths goes here for area. Five and five eighths. What else do I know? Right, the length is one and a half, so that goes in here for the length. One and one half. And then the width that's what we're solving for, times W. So we're going to put 5.625 for 5 and 5 eighths. And then for 1 and a half, we can put 1.5 and then bring down that W. So now this is just a one-step equation, right? It's multiplication. So how do I solve a multiplication equation? Very good. So we're going to divide on both sides by what? Beautiful. 1.5 on both sides. Here, those 1.5s cancel. And then we can go back to our calculator to solve. So, 5.625 divided by 1.5, and that gives us 3.75. So the width is 3.75. Now, what about these? this uh, label? What are my units? Yards. Yards. Right? Is it going to be yards squared or just yards? yards? Just yards. Very good. Is everybody clear? Yeah. Number four says, how many quarter pound burgers can George make out of three and a half pounds of ground beef? 
what can I do with this one? So, important information is that we have quarter pound burgers and we have a whole slab of ground beef, three and a half pounds. Everybody good? All right. So you said we're going to do three and a half, right? Oops. Three and a half. Oops. Divided by one fourth. Now, would you guys mind if I don't change these to decimals? You okay with that? Yeah. So we can practice the fractions, okay? So what do I do with these fractions so that I can divide? Um, yeah. I can change this three and a half to an improper fraction. Do you guys remember how to do that? Yeah. This direction, what do I do? And in this direction, what do I do? Very good. So two times three is Six, six plus one is seven. So this is going to be seven halves, and we're going to divide by one fourth. Okay? So how do I divide fractions? What's that rule? Keep, change, flip. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal, right? So, I'm going to write keep, change, flip here, just for your reminder. So, we have 7 halves. The division becomes multiplication, and the 1 fourth becomes 4 over 1. And now, before you multiply, what do I like for you to do? We can simplify. So here we have 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And now you can just multiply straight across. So 7 times 2 over 1 times 1. Do I have to put the over 1? No, this is just 14. 14 what? Quarter pound burgers. Quarter pound burgers. Right? So this is 14 burgers, right? Very good. All right, so for this one, we want to put the rational numbers in order from least to greatest. What should I do with this one? Okay, we can change all the numbers to decimals, if that's what you're comfortable with. You can change all the numbers to fractions, or you can change all the numbers to percents, right? You just want to have apples and apples. You want everything to be the same. Okay. Are we okay with changing the decimals? Yeah. All right. Very good. So, 19 25ths. What's that going to be? You can multiply times 4. So, 19 times 4 is going to be 76. So, that's going to be 76 hundredths. So, how do I write 76 hundredths? 0 0.76. Very good. And then this one is already a decimal. 0 0.33. How about the percent? How do I change a percent to a decimal? The decimal to, the to the left. Very good. So bleep, bleep. take away the percent sign. And this is going to be 0 0.68. Very good. And how about 14 twentieths? What do I want to do? With that? Very good. So times 5, times 5, I forgot to write down the work over here, times 4, times 4. So here we have 14 times 5, and that's going to be 70 hundredths, right? So 70 hundredths is going to be what? 0 0.7. 0 0.7. And then here, change percent to a decimal, loop, loop, take away the percent sign, right? So that's going to be 0 0.5. Now, I do want to tell you that when we are comparing, we also, like we said, apples and apples, right? Are those all apples? Yeah. Not yet. No. One, you could say they're all apples, but one's green apples, one's red apples. What do I have to try to make them the same? Right. We want to put, a, we want to annex a zero here. Now, they're all in the hundredths place. Is that that clear? Yes. So now we can put them in order from least to greatest. So, and I'm just going to put, I'm just going to number them, okay? So which one comes first? 0.33. And what comes next? 0.50. 0.50. And then what comes next? 
68, 70, and 0.76. Is everybody clear? Yeah. All right. Very good.